hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far in our discussion uh, related to vectors we have covered various uh, uh, basic and introductory concepts starting from uh, the understanding of scalars and vectors the difference between the two then about the representation of vectors the concept of uh, unit vectors equal vectors negative of a vector and a zero vector or null null vector so in this video we are going to discuss another uh, important concept which is the concept of addition of vectors okay that is two or more uh, vector quantities how to add them together to get us the net resultant now why this concept is important let us first understand that with the help of a real life example okay suppose we have an object okay let us say we have an object here okay it is an object in space it is not on the ground and a force acts in the horizontal direction okay a certain amount of force f1 acts in the horizontal direction so as a result of this force this object will move from the current position towards the right isn't it it will move again it will move from here to here again it will keep on moving depending on the magnitude of the force okay it will keep on moving to the right now suppose the same object here a let us uh, remove this on the same object okay let us consider it separately the same object is there and a vertical force in the downward direction acts on it f2 okay it acts on it then because of this this object will move downwards it will move downwards it will keep on moving downwards so this horizontal force forces the object to move towards the right and this vertically downward force forces it to move downwards okay now let us consider a different situation okay let us do it here now suppose on the same object the two forces f1 and f2 okay they act simultaneously together if they act simultaneously on the object here they were acting one at a time first f1 then f2 or first f2 then f1 they were not acting simultaneously but here let us say we have a situation when the two forces act simultaneously together at the same time then in that case the object will move in 
this way not towards मतलब downwards or towards the right it moves in the diagonal direction okay like this like this okay so this is this direction now this is the direction of the resultant force acting on the object because of the two forces acting simultaneously f1 acting horizontally towards from uh, left to right f2 acting vertically downwards and this is the resultant the direction of the resultant force so here the concept of addition of vectors comes into play when we have multiple uh, forces or any multiple vector quantities acting at a particular point more than 2 then instead of considering each vector quantity separately we can determine the resultant vector quantity with the help of uh, vector addition in order to simplify the whole process so this is the basic concept behind vector addition okay so let us discuss about vector addition in detail so now we will discuss about uh, vector addition in detail so there are various ways in which this whole process this concept of vector addition can be understood mainly there are three ways okay to understand the concept or to apply the concept of vector addition first is the triangle law the triangle law of vector addition okay then we have is the parallelogram law which is a slight modification of triangle law okay parallelogram law of vector addition and uh, next we have is the polygon law the polygon law of vector addition okay so these are the three ways in which the concept of vector addition can be understood so let us discuss the triangle law of vector addition first okay so let us discuss the triangle law of vector addition the triangle law of vector addition is applicable for a two force or a two vector component system okay two vector two vector quantities at a time can be considered okay so let us say at a particular uh, point we have two vector quantities let us say two vector quantities are acting one let us call it uh, let's say p and here from here we have another vector quantity q okay two vectors p and q here the first vector has its tail and head and the second vector the tail of the second vector 
touches the head or tip of the first vector or the previous vector okay the tip the the tail of q is touching the head or tip of p okay so this arrow head is the tip or head of a vector and this is the tail so this is the uh, whole arrangement of the vector quantities in this way now what the triangle law of vector addition says that the in such a case a two vector quantity system the resultant vector is this okay this is the resultant vector r let's say so according to the triangle law of vector addition if the two vector quantities involved in the whole system are represented by the two sides of a triangle then the resultant of those two vectors is the third side of the triangle represented in the form of a vector taken in the opposite order now what opposite order taken in opposite order means that see what i was saying the p vector it is the tail this is the head of p vector from the head of the p vector the tail of q vector starts here both the vectors p and q are in same order they are in same order if r would have been in this direction if r would have been in this direction the opposite direction the arrow head in this direction it is opposite then p q and r would have been in same order okay if r the direction of r vector would have been reversed then p q and r would have been in the same order but here r is in the opposite order why because in case of r the tail of r vector is touching the tail of the first vector of the system and the head of r vector the resultant vector is touching the head of the second vector of the system it is a two vector component system that's why it is according to the triangle law of vector addition if we have the two vector quantities as the two sides of a triangle we consider them the two sides of a triangle and both the vector quantities are in the same order of of, of course then the resultant vector would be the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order so here it is in the opposite order the resultant if r the direction of r would have been reversed then all the three vectors would have been in the same order but here r is in the opposite order and this is what is called as the triangle law of vector addition so if you want to write the statement of the triangle law of vector addition then you can write it in this way if two vectors acting simultaneously at a point at a certain point any given point are represented in terms of their magnitude and direction as the two sides of a triangle in this case p and q are considered the two sides of a triangle p and q are simultaneous vectors acting at uh, this point then the closing side or the third side of the remaining side of the triangle the third side or the closing side of the triangle taken in the opposite order is the resultant of this system the resultant vector and the resultant vector is in the opposite order to that of the two vectors okay so this is the whole statement of triangle law of vector addition 
okay so let us understand the triangle law in more ways just we'll draw uh, vector quantities and we'll determine the resultant suppose we have like this this is one vector the first vector this is another vector okay a and b let's say both of the vectors are in the same order because the second vector the tail of the second vector touches the head of the first vector that's why they are in the same order so the resultant will be this the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order this is the resultant similarly if we have like this first vector second vector then this will be the resultant okay let's call it p q this is the resultant vector taken in the opposite order the third side of the triangle again if we have this the first vector the second vector then this is the resultant vector okay this is the resultant vector taken in the opposite order so these are the uh, things okay so always remember the vector quantities that are part of the system the two vector system they should be in the same order in this case a vector and b vector p vector and q vector x vector and y vector the vector quantities that are acting at a particular point they should be in the same order and by same order it means when one vector quantity is acting at a point the second vector the tail of the second vector should start from the tip or head of the first vector the previous vector and the resultant vector is the third side the closing side of the triangle taken in the opposite order such that the tail of the resultant vector starts from the tail of the first vector and the head or tip of the resultant vector meets the head of the second vector okay so this is the basic idea behind triangle law of vector addition